In 2020, Lawrence Bartlett was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukaemia, or AML. I was away up in um, Kingaroy with my son, and uh, I'd you know, like had a cough and felt a bit run down, but yeah, so I'd run around with it. After a trip to the doctor and a blood test, the 67-year-old ended up in hospital for five months, undergoing a stem cell transplant. You're in a situation where it runs down your immune system, it runs down your blood cell production, and in the end you just basically, you know, like can't produce fights against infection. He's among only around 900 Australians diagnosed with the cancer, even less have a subtype known as extramedullary AML. It can be really, really aggressive. There are very few treatment options available. Many patients with so-called EMD AML are only given months to live. Now Newcastle researchers want to change that, leading a new clinical trial. This particular trial uses a redeveloped drug, um, Xantrine. By combining Xantrine with other therapies that are currently in use um, today for AML patients, that we could really get added benefit by having the two of those drugs in there together. The trial is being run at the Calvary Mater Hospital and researchers are calling for EMD AML patients to consider taking part. Something Lawrence Bartlett hopes will improve outcomes having dealt with the severe impacts of blood cancer himself. Even if it doesn't help you, which it should, but if it doesn't, it's going to help the next generation or it's going to help somebody else. Claudia Redonjak, NBN News. NBN News, nightly at 6.